a small outburst here. Okay, this is bad. Oh, oh, what's that? Are those pines in the distance? I think they're pines. Wow, we might be actually near the Black Forest. Ow. Ow, jeez. Woohoo! Living dangerous here, friends. Oh, it's a two-star Great Dwarf. We got level 13 bows. Ooh, that was a nice, nice stagger. Oh, man, that was so bad. I walk away. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, I think this is it. Wow, look at that, folks. Wow, look at that. We got the boat. Greetings, fellow Vikings. Welcome back to a brand new Valheim Ashlands challenge. And, of course, we're gonna do permadeath, of course. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the cherry on top of the challenge. So, permanent death and... Yeah, my last challenge didn't go too well. We died to the Elder. I was kind of blocked by his roots on my way to... Well, I tried to run away from him, but still. <laughs> so, if we're gonna do this, I'm gonna play it way, way more safer. It actually... I rushed the Elder, and um, yeah, the game kind of kind of punished me for that. Let's quickly create a character. We'll go super fast here with the same same looks like the old one. But uh, if we're gonna do this, of course it's gonna be super difficult because we're gonna play on random maps, random seeds like this one right here. Well, let's see. The game usually doesn't give me good seeds. I can't. <laughs> it's not like all the bosses are close by or in close proximity. The last seed, though, it was good. We had the, we had the Elder uh, close by on the edge of the ocean. So let's call it a uh, Hardcore Challenge. There we go. In terms of um, presets here, we can go for normal Hardcore. We're just gonna... I'm not gonna touch the fire hazards. <laughs> I like the fire inside the house and that's gonna be a problem. So, no portals, we'll add, oh boy, <laughs> more raids, why? And there you go, that's times two, resources, and that's that. Let's see what the world and Valheim has in store for us. So let's go, I'll catch you when the world is actually loaded. Okay, and here we are. We are back, oh goodness. <laughs> let's just start by gathering the resources here. Let's get the torch going really fast so we can see what's happening. This is an interesting world. Seems like we are somewhere up on some sort of a mountain going. I'm not gonna bother with the with the Ikthir spawn right now. We can always come back here and then just later on maybe find the boss. So let's grab the resources. There is a lot of there are a lot of resources right here. Let's eat really fast. I want to keep things short and efficient in this playthrough or a episode or challenge. <laughs> I guess all of the above. So let's go for some wood really fast. We can go and grab some wood and then some stone just so we can get the hoe going because I don't know if we are near the ocean or we are gonna find the ocean. But by the looks of it, I can't, I don't see any more trees down there, but I might be wrong. We'll see. Oh, there you go. There's a small outpost here. Okay, this is bad. Let's get the club going. Uh oh no. <laughs> Sir, uh, wait, can we talk about this? <laughs> oh really? No, no, okay, so anyway, um let's see. This is a situation which is really annoying. And to get out of it, we need to actually... Hold on here. I don't have the rested buff and I accidentally aggroed a boar. Come on, stamina, please! Oh no. So I aggroed the boar and a grilling. This is a really bad start, honestly. Okay. Let's see, maybe it will calm down. Please, for the name of God. I just wanted to get some stone there and lo and behold, there was a... Oh my god, this is bad. Where is the boar? The thing is, I can't fight the boar right now. Actually can't. I, I'm not... 
I don't have enough damage. I'm not damaging them. Look at them. There are three up here just waiting for us. So I, eventually I will get them. Because I kind of need them for the bow. But I also want the rested buff. So we can get the, uh, the stone there. This is it. Okay. I couldn't even build a hammer. <laughs> this is how fast and weird things degenerated. Let's get the rested buff. It's more, more, most important thing for us right now. Then we can worry about anything else. We can go and try and sneak shot those boar. But yeah, here we are. God, it feels weird to <laughs> start all over again, but... It is what it is. I did my number with the Elder there. I was blocked by his roots when I tried to run away. Never happened to me in my two years of Valheim experience to be surrounded by roots. But uh, eventually it had to happen, I guess. Now obviously in this one I will take... Uh, I will be much more careful. I will take defensive measurements to make sure that that thing never happens. Also, we're going to play this super, super safe. Just like you saw there, instead of engaging with the boar, I decided to use the torch on them. And actually, I'm looking for the last one. Now, the last one might have ran away. I don't know where he is. There's a deer. Can we sneak up on a deer, though? No. No, she heard us. If it's a she, nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's a she. Oh, come on. I kind of needed the other boar, but I don't want to waste time chasing ghosts. Ghosts. Oh, God. Where did he go? Oh, come on. He was right here somewhere. Really? I'm just going to go a quick uh, scan here just to make sure. Maybe he's here somewhere and I didn't look closely enough, carefully enough. I don't see him. I don't see no boar. Okay, there's no boar, so just wasting time at this point. I really didn't want to give up on the boar, though. Let's gather some resources while we are at it. It's like it vanished. It's like it, it's completely vanished off the ground, off the face of the earth. Oh man, but I needed that boar. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. See, this is why it's important to have your forest clean and neat. Got him. Nice. So if you don't get a surprise attack on the boar, I suggest you don't try to engage with him. Because they can quickly turn into ashes. Okay, let me get a sense of where we are. Those are... that's a structure right there. Let's go to the structure first. So there, the stones are right here. This might look promising. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get the raspberry. The wood going... Wait, I think I can hear bees. Oh, if we get the bees this early, it's... it's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. And, yep, there we go. There are some bees in here. It's not much of a structure, but we got bees. Yippee! <laughs> we got them bees. Oh, we got some arrows too. I don't care about the amber though. Actually, we kind of... Let's tear this thing down really quick. A smarter thing to do here would have been to actually not delete this structure. But it's fine. Let's get rid of it. Since it's a flatter area, we can work on uh, getting our tools ready really fast. Just make sure that everything is prepared. Time is of the essence, so time, time, time. We need to find ourselves a spot where we can rest. So let's grab the hoe. Oh, we can eat the honey. Nice. And unfortunately, I don't have enough for a bow. Now, what do I do? Do I look for a boar? I don't see no boar around. I should have gotten... Oh, come on. 
Yeah, we can worry about this later. I'm just wasting time right now. So... Let's get the wood and let's get the hoe. So keep in mind, up there, there's the stones. Let's see. I think... Oh, yes, look. Wow. We, can, we found the ocean. Wow, look at this. So let's go. Let's have this road. Let's make it go all the way up there to the stones. And... Uh, it's kind of neat. Oh, there's a deer. It's a one star? No. It's kind of neat that we found the... The ocean so fast. Now, this has to be the weirdest road ever, like... <laughs> looks weird, feels weird. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, God. Please, game. Thank you. But it's like, it's... It's 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 this weird slopey thing that we got when the world generated. And sometimes you're up on the mountain, some not, sometimes you're down in a valley, and uh, oh my god, this is the way of the game to say, um, yeah. Keep in mind that this is hardcore permadeath, <laughs> so you might screw it up. A lot of deer. Let's go. We found the ocean. Quick, 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 quick. We kind of have to run back to the ocean, so we don't lose our. Um, our heads here but oh we have honey we have honey early on this this is looking good this is looking good if we find i don't even care about the dark forest or black forest in this episode i just want to find a nice little cozy place where we can uh, set our base look at that we have also the berries while we wait for the stamina to regenerate let's grab the berries the raspberries actually So, there are two ways we can go, left or right, obviously. But yeah, coast navigation, if you're playing with no map, is your best bet. To actually do and find something. There we are. We're almost there. Nice. Okay, this is a bit weird, but... We found our way. Now, I'm not... I don't think the... <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't think the path in this... Does this take less stamina? Let's check. 107. 106. I think it takes more. <laughs> if anything, it takes more stamina. Burns up more stamina. Yeah, we can uh, actually get the rested buff really quick here. Now that we have the path. We we'll still have a good minute out of it. So I think we're gonna go this to the right. We'll see. I usually don't like to go to the left. Also, I don't see anything promising down there, so we might go here. Let's go this, this way. And grab all the resources that we can find on our way to discovering a quick or an efficient base. There's another house. And the, ooh, there's a lot of mushrooms here. And you know, I like the mushrooms. Getting the mushrooms early on is very important. So we can have the fire in here or outside. Oh, there's another mushroom. A lot of them. So basically, you just cooked yourself, friend. Okay, 8 minutes have passed. That means we have around 12 minutes of daylight. Um, we're, we're fine so far, I think. Can I actually repair? Let's... I don't think I can do this. Nah, I can't do this right now. Let's just wait for the rest of the buff really quick. Just in time as well. Grab the stone and run for it. Because like I said, I want to keep these episodes as efficient as possible. And also, at the same time, it is a weird thing for me. Because, you know, I want to keep them efficient. I want to get a lot of things done in every episode. At the same time, I don't want to rush things. Because, well, you saw what happened when I rushed things. I kind of died to the Elder like a noob. But that's never going to happen again, because Mr. Elder will have nowhere else to go now. I'm going to trap him. I'm going to encase him in stone. Okay, this doesn't look that promising. This doesn't look like the promised land. Can, you, can I split them away? Come on, you go in one direction, you go in the other direction. Good, now this is what I wanted. Each time, every, each and every single time, you're gonna find two of those. Make them, uh... 
Yeah, split them like this. Don't try and find fight two boar at once. That's gonna be your death sentence. Nice, got him. And I think we have the bow. I'm not gonna craft it right now, although it would have been useful to grab some um, deer and everything on the way back. Like that. But we can worry about that later. Oh, look at that, most more shrooms. More shrooms, good for us. And we got, oh, there's another boar. And a structure here. Oh, wow, double bees. Nah, this is too much. Oh, I thought he might, he could have gotten me there. He could, actually, he could have gotten me there. We got a lot of resources, raspberry and, oh my God, it's so much. <laughs> This is, this is, this is nice. This is great. Look at this. Double Bs. We're not 12 minutes in and we got double Bs. What is this? What? Is this, they're stuck on the tree? Really? Okay, we need the bow. We kind of need the bow. And for that... I'm gonna need to craft it really quick. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so let's take care of you, sir. Nice, and let's get... Oh, this is weird. They are stuck on the tree. Look at this. It's fine, though. I'm not concerned about that. Let's see what's inside. Some more gold. Not that we ever get to spend the gold. But yeah. Safety first, so we're gonna wing it way safer this time. Did I click? No, I didn't. There were some uh, raspberry here, too. No, I don't have a better food, so this will have to do for now. So let's just keep running until we see a really good spot. I don't see a good spot here, maybe... No, this isn't a good spot at all. Nothing there, okay, moving on. Let's check the other one really quick. But we have enough bees though. Oh my god, <laughs> this is actually amazing. To get these many bees early on. Five feathers. Not great, not terrible. Okay, nothing here. It's a maybe area, but I don't think... Maybe we can find an even larger area. Because my goal is to find a huge spot. Huge uh, flat spot. Where we can build our base and uh, make it raid proof, right? So we can actually not worry about any raids and anything else. That looks good by that oak tree. It looks like there's a flat area by that oak tree. It's kind of far away from the start, but it's what we got with the world seed. And also it's really important to, to get a flat area early on. Where you can build your base. Come on, game. Load, load, load. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Let's wait for him to get out of the water. Thank you. Chest. Anything good? Flint had arrows. Oh, we have flint. Yeah, we can grab a lot of flint the next day. We can keep the next day just for gathering flint and resources because, you know, it's that little foggy day. I wish they moved that to... Another day. Oh, that looks like there's a village there. That looks quite promising. That area right there looks amazing. Wow, look at that. And the landscapes in this game, the landscapes are gorgeous. Honestly, they're gorgeous. Look at this. We have ocean here, and it's quite a large ocean. There's it's not a lake. This is an ocean all day, all night. Well, let's clean up the boar, because there are a lot of boar, and there are a lot of structures in here, too. Which means free wood for us. So yeah, even with double resources, you um, you should get this wood. Because you can get it way faster than actually getting the normal wood, farming the normal wood. Okay, so let's pick one. Let's pick one where we can settle for... Uh, a temporary house. Do we get this one? Yeah, let's get this one. Why not? We can use the workbench to repair it. 
we can repair everything in here. There we go. We can repair actually just the floor. I'm not gonna keep anything else but the floor. Can I please? Thank you. Okay, so let's flatten the area around it really fast. Get the bees going and then we can start working on... This is nice. First day in. This is looking... Things are looking great. And we are... We actually found the... Perfect spot for the base. This area will do. It's relatively flat. So it won't require that much work. It will still require some work though. But yeah, we can, we can do that. The second day we can... Uh, Take care of everything else. So let's just quickly tear this thing down. Let's take care of this. And with with all that wood, we can actually build the new base <laughs> on top of this one. All that spinning is making my head uh, dizzy. I'm gonna delete these ones too, just because if we're gonna do this, this will be a chest area, so I kinda need them oriented this way. Uh, we can place the torch here, it's gonna be night really soon. So let's get the fire going. We can get the fire going really fast. Let's let's first let's not lose our heads. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, we can do this. A small door here, then we can have a little entrance here. Like this. Nice, 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 nice. Quick house. This is the quick house. Okay, we can have the rooftop. And then we can take down tear down some extra building for um or extra building. Yeah. We can tear down the rest of the buildings for uh some extra wood. I think this will do. Right? Nice. Got that thing covered there. We can have the workbench here. Just make sure not to place it outside your walls. Okay, we can have the bed. And it's quite a successful first day. I'm really happy with this. Look at this. And we can sleep on it. Wow. <laughs> crazy first day. Crazy first day. But we found the base location. I don't care about the dark forest. But given the fact that we are really far away from uh, from the base, we should, in theory, be close to the dark forest. At least should be around here somewhere. Now let's see, what do we do? Um, let's see here. First things first, we need wood to deposit all this, all these items. We also need the flint axe. So this is a bit problematic, hold on. Let me see if I can tear this thing down to grab the wood. Just the wood required for the axe. Can I do it though? Oh yes, I can. I was worried about the range of my other... Uh, my, the range of the workbench, right? Because you can only demolish things in your uh, workbench area. But this is nice, so we got this wood. We're good, we're second day. It's not straight fog, as you can see, so you don't get the fog uh, early in the morning. But it's here, trust me, you're gonna see it. And most of you know it. Like, I wish they would remove that, because it's super, super annoying. You know, when... This is what you usually do. You're, most of the players are exploring the second day, they're enjoying the landscape, the game. And they just decided to throw fog in it for some silly reason. I'm not gonna question their judgment, maybe they know better. Let's grab another workbench. I keep missing them by one, so let's see. There's this, there's that. We're gonna look for the dark forest really soon. We still have this building to tear down. Oh, and there's another one right there. So we have wood for days, just here. Okay. Things are starting to look nice. Once I get the axe. <laughs> Not just now. But there you go, there's the fog. As promised. Thank you, game, <laughs> for letting us 
Enjoy the fog. You know what we should do? We should plant the bees. We should have the bees going really fast. Because these are relatively, I mean, very important. So we got that covered. Let's actually cover it up like this. No! Oh, it broke. Never happened to me before. Never had these, uh, never had the hammer in this state of this repair. <laughs> Where are they? Where are the cooking stations? Actually, it's funny because they're called cooking stations. They're just made out of sticks. What I'll have to do, so let's see, we can have some storage going on here and we can go and tear down the other house. Nothing fancy, just normal, simple, basic resources. I don't think we have the rest of the wood for this. Yeah, we need, we have only one. Okay, so the smart thing here to do with the remaining wood is to grab the flint axe, obviously. So we can grab more wood. And I'm gonna just toss everything in here right now. Doesn't care. It does I don't I don't care about it. Doesn't matter. I'm <laughs> oh, I can't talk. I'm really enthusiastic about this because we happen upon quite an amazing place for the base. Now, when I'm gonna build this base, I'm not gonna keep it. Uh, I'm not gonna keep it on the video because it will be like two hours of hard work in real time to get the base and the walls and everything going and we're gonna do this after we fight the Ike here because I need the pick I need the pick so I can uh, actually finish the base but I'm gonna show you bits here and there I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a lot of cuts in that video and show you when it started and uh, how it's finished every single process of the base. It's mostly um, ground flattening and raising the walls. So farming stone, raising the walls. I will also farm a lot of wood to um, to be able to you know to have for um, smelting and everything so we can get faster with that smelting process. I'm not gonna turn the fire hazards on <laughs> for obvious reasons. Let's get rid of the torch really fast. I kind of like things to be neat. I don't always get them like this. So get rid of the old torch. Yes, thank you. I hope they despawn there. Goodness gracious. What if they don't? Okay, so we got a bit of extra wood here. We can go for some wood chopping soon. We can also go for hunting really quick. Okay, now let's get our items. Where did, did I actually throw them? In here. So, right, we can have the wood in here. Easy. We can have stone and gold items in here, because I don't have enough chests right now. And we're not going to worry about that. We're going to have feathers in this one. Resin in this one. And the house will have to kind of wait right now, because I'm not going to... Yeah, we're going to have the bones in here. Okay, so let's go for some wood farming. Nearby. <laughs> okay, look at this. We can actually farm wood. Come on, stop loading. Every time it loads, I don't know why. It's not like I have a really weak PC or anything, because I couldn't record <laughs> with a weak PC. It's actually a really powerful PC, but I don't know why. Just my PC decides to lag when it loads a new section of the game. I'm gonna have to look into that more carefully. Please, I don't want to get my first raid in the second day, but it's gonna happen eventually. The raids are coming. Because we have them set to the max, just to make the game more difficult and experience more punishing. But once we get this wood wheel, we will be able to finish our base. So it's just a bit of a one minute f wood farming. And obviously, like I said in the other videos, I'm going for the small trees because it's your best wood per hit ratio. There's another structure there. And also you get resin, which we're going to need a lot of resin for the fire arrows. Because I'm only going to use fire arrows. The only problem are uh, the feathers at this point. Is there a chest? No, there's no chest. 
So yeah, the feathers are really a big problem because I don't see a lot of seagulls around here. So I can hear them, so they might be close by, just they're not near the base. 279, we can actually go for a lot of wood. Ah, almost. <laughs> it's almost there. But yeah, let's play it safe, let's play it wise here. Actually, another thing that I want to do is go for some... Uh, we can go and explore the Black Forest, but I could actually not fight anything in it, so if we find trolls or Great Wars, we don't uh, fight them. I do want, as a slight chance, that we can find boats in there. So, I haven't... There, okay, so hear me out. There are two ways to get the fine wood, right? So one of the, I mean, early fine wood, of course, because the normal way is you have to get the bronze axe. But there are two ways to get the fine wood, early game, without the bronze axe. One of them is dangerous and requires for you to <laughs> make friends with a troll and convince him to cut down a tree for you, an oak tree, so you can get the wood. That can work too, you're gonna get a ton of fine wood. Or you might be lucky, which is a super rare thing, and find the wood in the boats. There are some shipwrecks in the dark forest. However, that those are very, very rare. But you usually find them around... Uh, let's get a chimney going here, nothing crazy. Let's make something really weird. You can usually find them around the shores in the dark forest. Oh my god, that looks terrible. But it'll have to do. We're not for aesthetics here. Yeah, we kind of need to go for some extra flint in this episode. Let's get the wood in here. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with this. Let's go for some flint. And see, we are half, almost, it's half of the day, see? So let's get the stone, let's get some flint. I'm gonna need around 30 flint. Maybe even more, maybe we get to 40. Kind of need 40 flint, though. So this is your second day. Your second day should be about getting your main resources. Even if we get wet here, it doesn't really matter. Because we're close by the fire. So yeah, second day is for uh, gathering resources around your base. Uh, work around your base, actually. Don't do anything stupid like exploring. Especially on hardcore permadeath with no map. Right? Uh, doing exploration during these times is a really bad idea. Obviously, for, for obvious reasons, you can't see anything. Because the developers decided to make things, or to take things to another level. 26, oh, there's a lot of flint, so we're gonna have flint for days. You can actually use flint head arrows. Yeah, my dream, right? We don't have the... We have no power here. <laughs> I don't have the birds. I don't have the seagulls for those. We can do some farming as well, once the fog dissipates. And it should... Oh, I just heard a seagull. Where is it? Oh, like there. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Because every time he sings... Oh, I actually got it. Every time he sings, he kind of wants to go away or get away. We got some boar here. Let's get some more stone. Let's actually take out the boar. The more the merrier, right? We can get a bit of our uh, bow skill going here. Now, I don't want to go too crazy about this because I don't have the arrows, so... <laughs> let's not do anything stupid. I don't have the arrows, I'm looking for seagulls. No seagulls for us. Nice. I keep hearing them in the background. But we have no seagulls right now. Okay, we got a lot of stone, we got a lot of uh, leather, leather white, leather scraps. So we have the flint axe, we can, um, we can actually build, let's build the upgrade for this thingy. Where's the upgrade? There's the upgrade. So now we can upgrade the flint axe, the hammer and the hoe. And we'll get to the bow once this little fog dissipates and we can have a nice view of what we're doing here. Let's get the arrows. Let's see how many arrows. Uh, another one will do. 
Yeah, we can go. We can use the flint one, the flint head ones. Okay, we have the stone, we have the leather in here, the resin, and the food. Now, let's go for some hunting. We should be fine. We should be fine. The, the fog should go away really soon, so we can actually start finding some deer. Because I'm going to need, before any raid or stupid thing happens, I'm going to need some deer meat and boar meat. We're also going to need some neck tails, so we can go for those. I don't like to kill these guys. They're so cute. Oh my god. I can't even kill them, even if I wanted to. <laughs> Feels like I kind of missed the, that guy. Ah, uh, that guy. Okay, we can eat the honey. It's safe. We have a lot of it. Oh, look, more mushrooms. Give me. Thank you. I'm not gonna say no to those. Okay, so let's go around here because I think there are a lot of a uh, boar in the forest nearby. I think the fog is. Oh my god, the fog is going away. Thank you. God, I hate that fog. For me, it serves no purpose. Just, oh no, there's a seagull to my right. I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna... Oh, got it. These guys will be more important than the deer for me. Honestly, not gonna lie. They will be more important than the deer. Keep looking for them, keep looking for deer. Let's see, let's get inside the forest right here just a bit tiny bit. Unfortunately, I don't see no deer. Oh my god, we're gonna have mushrooms for days. Oh, oh, I can hear one. I can hear a deer. The thing is, can I spot it before she spots me? Is that one it? There's just something moving. Oh, it's a one star. Hope this don't screw this up. Nice, got one. Uh, I don't think I can get the other one. Oh, I got the other one too, and I get this one too. Ooh, jackpot! Triple kill! <laughs> I should pat myself on the shoulder. Actually, let's not just do that, because I kind of destroyed nature here. Yeah, we can keep the two trophies. Those are large oak trees. What's going on here? Two large oak trees right here, so if we ever find a troll, we can use him to cut down those trees for us. Oh, there's another deer right there. Come on. How much bow skill do we have? Eight. Not bad. I think I have heard two of them here. But I might might be mistaken. Come on. Honestly, I kind of wish I had a raid going on right now. Because I kind of need one raid. Just for uh, for the boar. Kind of need the raid to get the boar. Ooh, one star boar. Nice. The other one will... Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Managed to somehow survive that. I think there's some mushrooms here too. Wow, look at this. There are a lot of mushrooms. Oh, oh, what's that? Are those pines in the distance? I think they're pines. Wow, we might be actually near the Black Forest. If we are near the Black Forest, that's huge. That's game over. Let's see, because there's our house, little house there. So today will be about getting food, getting the resources to craft the armor, the first armor and everything. And get the food going. Maybe tomorrow morning we'll uh, get the food going. And also, we can do some Black Forest exploration. Imagine this. In the same episode, going for Black Forest exploration. That's nuts. But I kind of need to because I'm curious about those boats. Okay, let's see here. Nothing in particular. I don't see no deer, no nothing. This forest is surprisingly clean. Clean of birch trees. Oh, there's, there's a deer. Right there, right there. Oh, it's a one star. Another one star. 
Sweet. Oh, there's another one. Please don't spot me. They did change the... They did something with this bow. Because the arrows move way faster and they don't go... Uh, so they go in a straight line. What am I talking about? They feel like they go... Um, you know, the weird slope thing when they go down. How is it called? I okay. keep forgetting. The arrow drop, Jesus. <laughs> the arrow drop, right? So I think they've improved the arrow drop on this bow. And also the arrow speed. Because it feels like they're speedy. So for instance, for this little neck here, I should have aimed like there. And now I have him there. <laughs> there goes my theory. Okay, so I don't think they changed anything after all. Oh man, that was stupid. That was super stupid. Uh, can I get you? Can I get you? Thank you. I kind of need the neck tails though. So let's get wet for those. Okay, we can get to the base really quick. We have... Oh, we have a lot of it though. We can use more boar meat. So let's get that boar too. We could use some extra boar meat. But after this, we kind of need to get back home. And I'm not going to spend too many resources upgrading this bow. Because we might actually get lucky. I don't know. We totally might be a bad idea. So uh, we're going to go one more level into this bow. Look at them. Proudly chasing my bees. Because that was his that was his attempt. I know those guys. They are actually want my honey. They want to get my honey. Okay. So far so good. Let's get the resources in here. Everything in here. Nice. We have also we're gonna build. Uh, we're gonna get fire arrows soon, which is great. Good news. We can have neck tails in here too. Ah, uh, we can have the rain. The, those. Yeah. So it's fine, let's sleep on it and, well actually this makes me sleepy, we'll see in the morning. First thing in the morning we're gonna go for some um, dark forest exploration, but we get our items fixed and food. Okay, so it's morning, we'll see. We'll see how actually things are going today. Okay, so I'm going to keep this torch here. I'm not going to worry about it now, right now. Let's see. Let's grab actually everything on our person here. Let's get the flint and the wood and everything. Yeah, of course, we're going to be encumbered, but doesn't matter. So, wow, look at that. Let's upgrade the bow first thing first. And uh, get the armor, I guess. That's important. Not that it matters for this fact. Because you can you can get yourself killed really quick. Even with this armor. It doesn't count for too much. Let's upgrade the axe. Because, yeah, we don't have the resources for anything else. So we might as well just do this. Quick here. Let's equip this. Get the arrows going. I actually might want to build get some extra arrows. Yeah, let's just do that. Maybe we face some trouble in the forest. Let's get some extra arrows. Because this is no joke. I'm actually going for the Black Forest. <laughs> the third day in. And we're going. I'm really curious to see. Because in... Oh, there you, there you go. There's our... Uh, there's our event. And I really want this event. So... Um, okay, the other things will have to wait. So let's see where we're going to do this. We're going to do it here. Oh, no. Oh, there's a seagull. I need the seagull. Even if I'm gonna take a hit from a boar or something like that. Still don't care. Ow. Ow, cheese. Woohoo! Living dangerous here, friends. Let's get the neck. Hey, hey, hey. You 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 stay down there. But yeah, we kinda need the boar. No joke, like I have two leather scraps left and we're gonna need a lot of it. So this event dropped just in time. Too bad I wanted to go for the dark forest, and that's gonna cut ourselves. That's gonna cut our uh, black forest time, but it's fine. Just gonna go along the coastline for a while before the night falls, just to look for a boat. 
And hopefully we don't run into trouble there. Because I've seen there's a dark forest right there. Those, uh... See, you can always look in the horizon for on the top of the trees. And you can see we saw the pine trees there. The tip of the pine trees. And it was kind of obvious. I mean, we are super far away from home. I'm surprised we didn't actually found a black forest earlier. Okay, so this spot is really cool for uh, farming the raids. Actually, the low-level raids that there are. No, please wait. Okay, the net goes too down. Now let's take this precious loot back home. And look at that. We also need the feathers. Feathers, feathers. Yeah, so the Dark Forest is a great spot to get feathers. Great place to get feathers. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten. Oh, what am I doing? I need to wait for the food really quick. Okay, let's get the food going. I'm gonna throw that away. Don't need that. I'm gonna throw that away. So, let's see here. I'm gonna place... I don't have time for this. Let's go for eight. Let's go for eight. So, we're gonna go like this. Good. That's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. So, let's go one. Oh, come on. Also, let's get the, the honey. We should have some extra honey here. Thank you. Look at this. Things are looking nice. So, we wasted four minutes already of the day. I'm just checking. You can uh, actually see here where it says last save. You always save when you wake up in the morning. So, you can check up your... This is like a clock, right? So, we know how much time we have up until the 20 minutes mark when it gets dark. Oh, really? That was one? Okay, that's fine. But yeah, we're gonna go for the dark forest. Wow, that looks... <laughs> that's a scary idea. But imagine it if we could actually find some goodies in there. Early on, maybe even some bones. I don't have the fire arrows, though. But I don't plan on fighting too many skeletons in there. So I just want to go along the coastline. Come on. If we stay here one more second, we can actually get a second raid. <laughs> because things are kind of like that in this game. So let's get rid of those items. And see where our dark forest or black forest is. Friend, um, you have picked a bad time. 11 bows, nice. You kind of picked a bad time to mess with me right now. I'm in the middle of a mission here. It's a very important mission. Well, what was that? The game actually froze on me, Jesus. Oh no, there's there's a bird. I kind of need the bird. I don't need to f scare off the deer. Yeah, that that happened. I was I was so sure that that's going to happen. Yeah, come on. But I need the boar. So it's fine. We can do with some boar. Imagine imagine the sacrifice I need to I need to make to get the feathers. Ah ah ah. I think I can see it. Oh, it's a really nice large forest. Let's go down there first. Because I feel like there's a... Uh, let's get let's get some health first. I was stupid there because I shouldn't have eaten the small little things. Okay, now it's loading, loading game. Thank you. Tell me the entrance is blocked. Oh, uh, just some gold in here. That's fine. I don't think we're ever going to find the elder, the elder, <laughs> right, the trader. But um, who knows? So there will be one more episode after this, and then uh, hopefully in the next episode we can take on Ikthir, because I really want to finish Ikthir off. I just pissed them off. I actually managed to do nothing there, but pissed them off. Let's see. Oh, that was that was a low. Low roll at RNG. Got the Great Dwarves. Now let's see. How do we approach this without dying? Well, I'll try not to die, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna keep those in there. We're gonna run out of those really quick. So let's see. You wanna be super careful in here. Let's not engage in any unnecessary combats. Grab some blueberries while we're at it. 
But third day in and we're exploring the dark forest. This is what I call progress. And honestly, this is not rushing things. Because I have the bow, I have the armor, there's nothing else left for me to do. But I go here and explore here around a bit. There's a spawner right there. There are also skeletons down there, so we, we're gonna let them take care of themselves. So yeah, you can actually let monsters fight themselves, that's great. It's a cool thing that the actually the skeletons are from the swamps, right? So they are not happy with the black forest enemies. They're at, they're uh, they're angry at each other. There are some factions between the monsters. Okay, so let's look for a boat actually, because this is kind of, this looks like the kind of a forest that would have them because it's a uh, it's not on a coast, uh, on a coast really, it's not on a slope. Right, so this is actually a good area for boats. We're gonna look really carefully around the edges. So nothing there. Gonna look here. But if we are gonna find something and get the fine wood boat, that would be actually too much. That would be actually ridiculous. Nice copper deposit right here. Let's get here. Okay, nothing here. There might be a spawner. I keep hearing uh, a spawner. Oh, there's a spawner. Uh, okay, so let's see. Can we do this without dying? Yes, we can. There's some skeletons right down there. Let's see. Can I get them to actually... Oh, it's a two-star Great Dwarf. Oh, right, so, whew, whew, look at this. Actually, I'm gonna go for the crow. Or the raven, there's another one right there. Where is it, though? Let's get rid of these guys. So, they actually took out the skeletons for me. Can they actually access the dungeon? I'm scared about the two-star one because that can actually stagger me. That guy. Come on. Oh, this is really weird to do this with the normal bow. But yeah, two... Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm worrying here about everything else and there they are. I have to get rid of these guys somehow. Come on. It's so weird to actually shoot them like this. Okay, no matter what, I have to get down. This is not this is not going well. Oh, you know what we can do? We can actually plant a fire right down here. And keep repairing the fire, because they will get into the fire. Oh, ow, jeez. Oh, you pesky little thing. <laughs> and I'm actually aiming for the bird. This is... This takes too much time. Come on, get here. Get into the fire. Okay, can you go that way? Yes, you can! Nice! We sniped him. And we got level 13 bows. Ooh, that was a nice, nice stagger. Oh, man, that was so bad. See? <laughs> it took half of my HP with that little stone. Yeah, you're not doing this. You're not doing this. I hate these guys. They move so randomly through the forest. Look at this. I can't even aim at them. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. Let's just wait wait it out. We can wait for the rest of the buff in here. Let's get to business. Let's get to business. <laughs> Let's get to business and I'm gonna miss the first arrow. You know what? This is better. This is better because now I can actually focus. Come on, stop moving like a crazy person. Oh. Well, this was totally unnecessary and it might have ruined our visit to the Black Forest here. But here's the catch. The more time we spend in here, the higher chance of... Oh, we only have eight minutes. We have to rush this thing the higher the chance to encounter stupid enemies in here. You can actually use these to repair. 
Also, we can grab some extra arrows while we're at it. We can keep the wood. We're gonna leave the. I'm gonna leave the fire here, because this is a nice source of a, a little camp there, more than anything. Okay, so let's keep looking. We only have eight minutes, so we might have to rush things. I'm only gonna go a few meters that way. If we're not gonna find anything, I'm gonna walk away. I walk away. Oh wait, is this it? Oh, I think this is it. Wow, look at that, folks. Wow, look at that. We got the boat. Wow, let's get the final. Wow. That's, that's gorgeous. And there's some great work there. Oh, we have the fine wood. Nice. We actually need some core wood too. So me I want to I want to grab that. Let's grab the core wood too. Let's clear this thing. This thing it has some fine wood in it too. Usually has a brute and some fine wood. This time just the fine wood. Let's see how much. Two with one. Hey, I'm I'm taking anything that I can find. What are you going to do? What are you going to... You're going to require one more arrow. You're kind of greedy. Oh, I can. I actually need some core wood too. I'm actually dropping the rest of the wood so we can grab the core wood. Oh, can I do this though without alerting the entire forest? Let's get this. Let's get this. Because if we do this, we have in the first episode, we have the fine wood bow, which is great. Actually, this, this is really dangerous. A small log like this, if it falls on you, for some reason, it can kill you. Even if we are at 91 HP right now. Okay, there's a Grey Dwarf. There are two of them. Let's take care of them and then be on our way home. Because I don't want to stay here. Not one extra. Come on! Not one extra minute. Okay. Nice. We got a high roll there. So it's a RNG number with your damage with the bow. Can I get another one? Yes. I think so. Because I kind of need this too. If we're going to upgrade the bow. Okay, 24. I'm kind of full. We have to go. We have to go. We have to run. Home, home, let's get home, let's get home, let's get home. So we went past that thing. But look at this, we actually have fine with bow. In the third day, that's huge. Come on, I thought you were going to go that way. This will require one more arrow. No, this is weird, this is kind of weird. I haven't missed this many shots like ever. I'm getting a bit rusty here. I'm getting old. <laughs> Even if I'm not that old. Okay, so let's see. Can I find my way home? I should find a portal. A portal, right? <laughs> There's no portals. <laughs> I should find a spawner. There was a spawner. I could see a spawner. And then we can head to the right. And we'll be home. Please, can I get home with this? Can I get home with this beautiful fine wood? We actually got 43 pieces of fine wood. Oh no. They're there. Oh, it's three of them. I don't have the time and the resources to fight them all. So let's just run for it. Let's just quickly run for it. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go home. I don't wanna die and lose all the fine wood. And that would be sad to die in the first day. Especially after getting all this amazing loot. Now I'm gonna run for it. You guys can't catch me. If I had more stamina I would have lost them. Come on, why am I stopping? I would have lost them way faster. What am I doing? Am I gathering more? Oh my god, I'm gathering half the forest with me. I'm gonna bring them all home <laughs> and make friends with them and drink tea. See, these guys, I wish they had the monsters had stamina or something, because they don't seem to run out of stamina. Which is a problem for me. These guys don't run out of stamina. So 
but they keep chasing me. Look at this. Look at this. They don't lose their interest. They're still here. I think they're upset with me finding the uh, fine wood. This guy is still chasing me. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? You know what? Come home. Come home. Actually, I dare you. Come home. Come home. Come meet my wife. <laughs> I have no wife in there. Okay. Come here. Yeah, you're getting it. You're getting it. You kind of asked for that one to happen. Oh my god, I'm gonna save just in case. We have fine wood bow. Look at this. We only have we only need the deer hide. I'm carrying too much, really, I don't care. Fine wood bow, folks. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. 20 damage. From 16 to 20 damage. And we can upgrade. Let's see. We went for 22. I'm gonna need really one more core wood. One more core wood. Okay, that's that's actually sad. But yeah, we got the fine wood. Oh man, so this was a really successful third day. I'm gonna place all the wood in here, actually. We can go for extra uh, core wood in the forest to grab the extra core wood. Look at that. We've achieved a lot in this episode. I'm really satisfied with it. With all the progress that we've got going. Let's actually add some fuel on this torch. This is a bad placement for a torch, but uh, I'm gonna change it soon. What am I doing? I'm messing things up. So yeah, actually it was a really surprisingly productive episode. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Now I just have to be careful not to lose my head. We did find the boat. Maybe there are more boats in there, I don't know. But so far, I, there's no reason why we should uh, actually risk anything. Right, so uh, we got the... We got, what we, we got what we wanted, we got the bow. So that's it, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves, bye bye.